Hello, boys and girls, and pentagendered septosexual uniwolves. I'm Anarchy Ball. You are likely accustomed to seeing our memes and videos making fun of both the left and the right side of the political spectrum. However, this video will be the beginning of a series of videos that explain the libertarian and anarcho-capitalist political philosophies. The basic premise onto which these philosophies is the non-aggression principle, or NAP. This is the idea that everyone should treat each other and their property with respect and do not harm onto others. It's very similar to what is known as the golden rule, do unto others as you would have them do unto you. However, unlike the idea behind the non-violence, it allows room for self-defense. Now this isn't meant to be a law. It's not meant to be a rule. Rather, it's meant to be a mental state for everyone to live their lives within. People may still violate it, and there are ways in which to combat and correct that behavior without necessarily resorting to violence, as our current system all too often resorts to. The current concept of the NAP was formulated by author Ayn Rand. However, the ideas behind it can be traced back as far as the 4th century writer B.C. Epicurus who wrote, Natural justice is a symbol or expression of usefulness to prevent one person from harming or being harmed by another. One of the major criticisms is that the NAP recognizes natural rights but does not allow for positive rights. Natural rights in a nutshell, are rights which a person has simply because they exist. The freedom of speech, the freedom to assemble, the freedom to defend yourselves are all examples of natural rights. Positive are generally rights which place a burden onto another person, be it morally or financially. Most of the civil rights which were granted in the Civil Rights Act were actually positive rights. Those rights require the use of force in order to back up. A prime example of this is the right to not be discriminated against. This places a burden on the business owner since they are forced to associate with someone they would rather not. This can also only be enforced by the use of force. In the case of the U.S., this would lead to revocation of business license, fines, or possibly jail. And in the next video, we will discuss how undesirable behavior can be changed.